What's up YouTube, what's up Birdie Nation, this is Raider Kid here, and uh, for a second there I thought I was going to be able to make a victory post game video, but we fell short. Oh man, it was a good game. You know, um, I'm alright, I'm actually not too upset about this loss. I'm kind of surprised with myself, I'm not angry, I'm not really mad, I'm kind of, I'm fine. We're 0-5 and, and I'm fine, this sounds really weird. I'm... You know, nobody likes moral victories. We're all used to moral victories. We hate them. But right now, I'm feeling like this moral victory is humbling for me. And I'll explain. But pretty much this game uh, turned out to be a nail-biter. It was a close one, just like I expected. I expected the Raiders to come in uh, with, new, uh, with a new look to them. Uh, and so much it was f that was the offense that uh, responded to that. Defense, not so much. Um... Tony Sperano coming in as an uh, interim head coach. I was pretty excited about that. We were expecting a lot of different things going to be changed, especially for the offensive side of the ball, defense. You know, eh. But first quarter, it was a um, big drive, 77, 56 seconds in, 77-yard uh, catch and touchdown for Derek Carr's first one. And, uh, it was beauty. And then uh, San Diego responds, and then... Raiders, we actually come back and we score in the second quarter, which we haven't done all season. We come and San Diego has outscored their opponents in the second quarter as well, and we held them to just one more touchdown. So in halftime, it was 14-14. And Derek Carr also threw a touchdown. That was to James Jones on that one. Um, the drives looked beautiful. The running game was alive. DMC was getting six to five yards. MJD would come in here and there and still make a little his presence known, but the passing game was just on fire. Derek Carr looked like MVP out there. And um, that's why I think I am, I'm just kind of humble about this game is because when I think about it, yeah, our season's done, but um, we could still win a few football games, you know, make ourselves competi uh, competitive. We're not going to the playoffs. That's for sure. Um, the only thing we have to look forward to now is just nobody gets seriously hurt. Um, we win a couple games, you know, but we're going to get a good draft pick, and hopefully we pick a really good guy again, like we did with Mac in second round with Carr, and just build off that because that's what we need to do is just build off the positives and not make the wrong mistakes by drafting players that are no longer in the league, don't play anymore, and just were busts. But back to the game. After halftime, San Diego, of course, responds by just going down the field, and uh, they score. And then the Raiders also respond. It was a punt. It was a punt game here and there. Marquette King was punting lights out. Uh, one player I want to mention is T.J. Carey. Uh, I give it up to him, man. T.J. Carey. I thought he had a great game, defensively, partly, and main importantly, um, hit the returning his return game was just lights out he was he was putting us in positions to have good drives and i really like him he oh, he had one muffed uh, ball i think he was getting a little too excited he just had a defensive play like a couple plays before so he's i think he you know the emotions was getting him he wanted to take off he must have saw a hole or two but um kudos to him man and then it came along where it was uh we got to stop uh, in the red zone for the for the Raiders and held the Chargers to three, so it was 24-28 at this point, and um, we went three and out. Uh, our first three and out in a while in that game, well, at least in the second half. And then San Diego came back with like three minutes left and drove down. And all of a sudden, the defense could not tackle. This was throughout the whole game, though. The defense could not tackle at all. And I think that was the issue. Um, not saying that's the reason why we lost. I'm not saying if it was really much coaching. Maybe it's Tarver's scheme. I don't know. Maybe it's just these players. Now, Miles Burris, I, I liked Miles Burris. I thought he was going to be something like he was when he came in a few years ago, but he has not. He's turned out to be really slow, can't tackle, finish plays, late on the ball. Uh, it hasn't been good, and that was the story today. A lot of missed tackling, um, can't bring the player down in time, late to the ball. So, I, I, you know, uh, I was saying on Twitter, we should just let San Diego score because we only had one timeout. We burnt two timeouts earlier in the second half. We just let them score. We'll have under two minutes left, and we only have one timeout. So they need to score as soon as possible and not burn more time so we have more time to work with. And that's what happened. So it was 31-28, um, a, a penalty. Uh, Carl almost fumbled, but it was a face mask, so we got 15 yards to the 35. A couple, uh, two first down plays from Carr. Beautiful passes, put us in position past the 50 and the 45-yard line, and 
Derek Carr throws the ball into double coverage to Bryce Butler, and it's picked off by Barrett. Now, when you look back at the play, it looks like double coverage from maybe his point of view. But when you, you notice that one of the, I think it was a safety, he wasn't really near the ball. It was Verrett and Butler, really. It was a one-on-one, -on -one, but the other guy was there just like a security blanket. If you you got to look at the film again. And it wasn't a bad throw. It was a bad decision. He should have just kept going with the you know those th uh, short passes for the first downs to get us in field goal range because that's all we needed. We were right there. We had plenty of time, a minute 15 left. But he made the bad decision to, to, to go down instead of taking the conservative route and continue what he was doing. Uh, but it was a catchable ball. Bryce Butler was right there to catch it, and uh, just yeah, it looked like he jumped early. Not his fault either, you know. I'm I'm not mad at Carr. He had an amazing game, four touchdowns. Uh, I think almost 300 yards. If he uh, maybe he did get over 300, uh, to a lights out game, man. He really is our future. He just proves that every game, even though he has not gotten a victory yet. This this kid's our future, and he, you know, he's. He's the best thing we've had at quarterback since Rich Gannon, who also was actually um, commenting in the game today. Uh, so I'm kind of humble about that, and it sounds weird, but I'm also thinking, you know, well, we almost beat the San Diego Chargers. We're supposed to be the best team in the league, and we played pretty damn good. We look a little different. The defense is still, you know, really rough, but our offense looked like it was getting it together. The running was there, the passing was there, and Carr made one bad decision. I see a lot of people on Twitter already were burning Carr, uh, talking a lot of bad about him. I'm like, come on, guys. This guy just had a lights-out game. Yeah, he made one bad decision that cost us the game. Okay, yeah, but he's a rookie. He made his first rookie mistake. I mean, how many rookie mistakes has he made this season? You know, he had four touchdowns coming into this game. He had four touchdowns today. So say all you want about a car, man, but I can't be mad at the kid. He is our future. He had a great game. He's going to learn from that mistake. He won't do it again. He and With the game on the line, he won't do it again. I guarantee that. He will learn from this, and he knows it. He knows he made a bad mistake. He's going to talk about it, I'm sure, in the press conferences, but I can't be mad at him, Bryce Butler. I am a little upset with the defense. They should have... They need to learn how to tackle, really, actually. Um, that's about it, man. Um, but it was it was a humbling game. Real quick, I'm going to the game next week. I'm excited. We're traveling all the way up to Oakland, six hours from LA, and I'm gonna be there. 0-6 Raiders, 0-5, uh, sorry, 0-5 Raiders against the uh, Arizona Cardinals. I don't care if we're 0-5 or or 5-0. You know, I'm I'm still rooting for the team all the way. Um, it's, it should be a good game too. I think we have a chance to win that one as well. So I'll I'll make another video later this week. My picks today, I gotta make th my picks today were hot. A hot fire. I've missed only three games. Cowboys upsetted the Seahawks, and I should have won with the Bears. I knew it. There's two games left, but yeah, my picks were hot fire. And seriously, tie? They need to get rid of the tie in the NFL. I'm done with the ties. They need to bring back the double OT. Ties are, it's just all that work put in for a one that doesn't mean anything. It's just annoying. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think, your reactions. I know everyone's emotional. They're mad right now. Um, I don't know. I, I it was a good game. It was a good game. We lost. Carr made one bad rookie mistake, but he he proved to me and I hope many others that he will be a star in this league pretty soon coming up in his next few years. You know he's still gotta learn. So, anyways, guys, um, I'm Mr. Rady Kid. I'll bring you another video coming up soon. Going to the game next week. If you're going, if you live in Oakland, you'll be there. Let me know in the comments below. Um. You know, like the video, share, comment, share with all your other uh, Raider fans. If you have a Raider fan page, uh, share my video. Um, thank you again for everyone that has does comment, uh, negative or positive. Uh, I like conversating and I like reading you guys' comments. Um, but tough loss, but we'll get them next week. We'll get them Cardinals. I hope Palmer plays. I hope he plays. Three picks. Watch. Anyways, guys, tough loss, but um. It's a, it's a it's a good start for Tony Sperano and this new look team early in the season still. 0-5, but we'll bounce back, guys. Anyways, peace out, Raider Nation. See you later.